today I'll be doing my March wrap up and April TBRs. And in March I had a total of 11 books. So yeah, I'm not gonna go into details about these books, but I'm, I'm just gonna give a quick review on it. So yeah, let's get on to the books I read in March. First book I read this month was Cinder by Marissa Myers and uh, I like this book. I really like this book. I like, um, I love that it's the I love that it's a retelling of Cinderella, but it's not. It doesn't kind. It does kind of sort of doesn't follow. It's loosely it's loosely based on Cinder. So yeah, I ended up giving this book uh five. I think I gave this book a five out of five. So yeah, I really enjoyed this book. The second book I read this month was Divergent by Veronica Roth. <laughs> at first, I was really hesitant on reading this book because I know what happened at the end and I don't know. It just it just yeah. Anyways, but then I. The movie, the movie, the movie, was, the movie was coming out, and I wanted to read the book before the movie came out, so I, I just went ahead and read it. And I found myself really enjoying this book, but there's something that's preventing me from like loving it. I don't know what it is. It just there just wasn't that there wasn't that there just wasn't that moment of oh my god I love this book for me. But I really enjoyed it. I'm glad I'm really glad I read it. I don't know if I want to read Insurgent Insurgent yet. I just I just don't have the urge to read Insurgent right now. I think I end up giving this book a uh, 4 out of 5. Next book I read was um, The Devourer by Simon Holt and <laughs> let's just say I read this book it, this book kind of freaked me out a little just because I read it like I read it like around 1 in the morning I think I gave this book a 4.5 because I really enjoyed it and I'm really excited to read the, um, the next two books and the next book I read was The Archive by Victoria Swab <laughs> yeah I read this book for for the Archive read along with Jesse the Reader and Cool thing, I got a book plate. <laughs> Victoria Sloth sent, sent people who were doing the archive a book plate. I got a book plate. <laughs> I'm just so happy with that. She also sent me a bookmark, which I thought was really cool. I think I, I think I ended up giving this book a five out of five because I, <laughs> I really enjoyed this book. <laughs> Review coming soon, hopefully. <laughs> the next book I read this month was uh, Don't Become a More Dyer. And. I was really disappointed. I mean, I heard a lot of good things about this book, and going to the book, going to this book, uh, I just thought, I just thought it was really boring, and I did not like Mora. I did not, I did not like any any characters in the book, in this book, and it was just for me, it was just, it was just boring. I felt like nothing much happened until like towards the end. I just, yeah, I just, I didn't like this book, so I, I didn't, I didn't like it, nor did I hate it. I just, it was just really boring. I ended up giving this a three point a three a three out of five. This was like a really really big disappointment for me because I was really looking blue. I was looking forward to reading this book and it just didn't hold up to what it, it just didn't hold up to my expectation. The sixth book I read this month was uh, Eleanor Park by Rochelle. Rainbow Rollout. <laughs> I really enjoy this book. I I love the um, I love that you can re relate to the characters. I love that I, c I can relate to. I love that I can relate to um, Eleanor in some way. I just found out a couple days ago that they're turning, they're making a movie adaption for this book, so I'm really excited. I really like this book. I have to give this book a five out of five because I really love this book. <laughs> the seventh book I read this month was *Wander* by R. J. Palacio. It being compared to what do you call it, *The Fault in Our Stars*, kind of set me back a little because. In my opinion, it was like not, it was nothing like the Fault in Our Stars, and this book a five out of five because I loved it. <laughs> the next book I read was Lock and Key by Sarah Dessen. This is my second book I read from Sarah Dessen. I really enjoyed this book, so I think I ended up giving this book a five out of five. The next book I read was Shadow Me by Tahara Murphy. I think that's how you pronounce it. Juliet kind of annoyed me a little. There was this, there's just this thing that she does. She repeats stuff three times. I saw kind of annoyed because she does that but it didn't annoy me so much that i hate this book because i i was able to go through i was able to read finish this book and i really enjoyed it i mean at the beginning of the book it was like really annoying but towards the end she kind of stops and she kind of like she kind of does it less so i found myself to be able to deal with it more but i really enjoyed this book and i, I think i ended up, i think i gave ended up giving this book a four out of five because just because julia was kind of annoying at the beginning but then I kind of got over it. I'm just every, every time it happens, I just skip over the words. Just just, just really want to skip over it. So yeah, the next book I read. Um, what number am I? Anyways, the next book I read was "If I Stay" by Gail Gail Foreman. <laughs> 
I really enjoyed this, in this book. This book consists mostly of like flashback. So, so I really love that. I really love that you get to see that. And then this book was so sweet. And this book was so. There's a there are some sad scenes. There's some happy scenes. There's some sweet scenes. I just really love this book. I just found out like after I finished this book that they're making a movie out of it. I'm like, oh my god, the movie's gonna come out in August. August. The movie's gonna come out in August. So I'm really excited. I think the um and it's starring um. It's starring Chloe Grace Moretz, <laughs> and I really like her, so I'm really excited to see. I'm really excited for the movie. Yeah, I gave this book a 4.5, because I really like this book, and I'm really excited for the movie. <laughs> the next book I read was The Unbound by Victoria Schwab, and The Unbound is the second book to the archive. I love the, again, okay, I love the archive, and I love I love the Unbound, too. I love the Unbound equally, maybe a little bit more, because we get more West, and I really like West, and, I, and you get an unexpected visit from a past, char past um, character. I guess I want Jesse the reader wants a third book because I want a third book too. <laughs> the any kind the any kind of setups for a third book. So I really hope there's a third book because I really want I really want to know what what's I really want to read what's gonna happen next. <laughs> so yeah. And I gave this book a five out of five too because I really like this book too and I really hope there's a third book. And the last book I read this month was Diary of a Teenage Godmother, a contemporary teen fantasy romance. And I I actually borrowed I borrowed this book on Amazon so I have the book. I don't have the ebook for it so I don't know why. I think because the cover the cover was so pretty that it kind of pulled me in. But I did not like the book. I just did not like the book. And who will call it? The um, Cinderella's Fairy God Cinderella's Offspring. I think that's what they're called. Cinderella's Offspring kinda of annoyed me a little and she's she was I felt like she was one of those girls who thinks everything she who thinks um everything she say and whatever she thinks is right and she doesn't listen to, and she doesn't listen to anyone else and that kind of kind of annoyed me at the beginning but then like i really like um i like uh but i really like the, the fairy godmother except she was kind of boy obsessed and she all she could think about, about was boy instead of taking care of her her cinderella i give a three on goodreads but i'm thinking about lowering it to like a 2.5 because i did not enjoy this book and I finished it, but I finished it and I was mad. <laughs> okay, so yeah, that's it for the books I read in March. Now let's get on to the books I'm planning to read in April. The first book I'm planning to read and I'm currently reading is um, Scarlet by Marissa Myers. And Scarlet is the second book to the Lunar, Lunar, the Lunar Chronicles. So. <laughs> and so far, I'm really enjoying it. It's getting really good, and I want to know what happens. <laughs> this book I'm planning to read, I don't have it yet, but I'm planning on buying it. It's um, Crest by Marissa Myers, and Crest is the third book for, and Crest is the third book for the Lunar Chron Chronicles. I think it follows Rapunzel. I think the next two books I'm planning to read is Solstice and Fearscape by uh, Simon Holt. Oh my God! <laughs> These are the last two books to the devouring series and yeah i'm really excited to see what happens but so that's all the book i'm planning to read in april but i'm pretty sure i'm gonna read a lot more than those four but so far those are the only four books i have planned and that's it for our march wrap up and april tbrs thanks for watching leave a comment below and tell me what you read in march and what you're planning to read in april and if you read any of these books and you like it just tell me how tell me how you felt about the book thanks for watching bye guys